Hello everyone and welcome to Illy Tutorials. Today we're going to show you three different methods of making speech bubbles in Illustrator. Now speech bubbles come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. Some of them will be ellipsoids, others will look like rounded rectangles, and some will be in form of perfect circles. Now this first method, we're going to use the pen tool and we're going to click inside of the circle and then a bit outside and we're going to create a little tail basically sticking out of the circle. So your third point is going to be inside. Make sure it intersects. It has a bit of an edge, a bit of a uh, curve to it. Once so we have that, we are going to unite, unite the shape in uh, Pathfinder right over here. And there we have it. That's our first method. Now our second method deals with uh, making a shape. So we'll make uh, the polygon with three sides. That's a triangle obviously. We're going to 180 degrees and then resize it a bit. Once we find it to the right position, you can adjust it of course. It can be the left on the right. It can also be centered and uh, aligned. If we align it to itself, the center, there we go. Adjust it. And when we're done with that, again, we unite the figure. Now the third method actually uses a tool over here called Pucker. Uh, so we just choose from there. And make sure you the tool is not too the brush is not too small, not too large. You want it a nice optimum size. And then you just click and you drag and pull and you pucker it. Very simple like that. And again, you can pucker it on that side. And this is a bit, it will give you more unique shapes than the other two methods in this case. Now if you want to put some text inside your box, what you're going to do is you can select your shape, you copy it, control C, and then you paste it with control shift V and that pastes an instance above it. Then we're going to go to the scale tool. We'll move this uh, scale in the middle roughly and hold shift as we move the shape inwards just to an optimal position. There we go. Then we're going to use the text tool right here and we're going to click inside the shape that we had just made. We'll import our text and what will happen is the text will follow the shape of uh, the speech bubble itself. There you go. And you can always adjust this, you can make this a bit larger, a bit uh, smaller. But as you can see, it will fit nicely and snugly within your shape. So there you have it. I hope you learned something. Ciao.